In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace the fuel pump for the rear fuel tank located in the back of the truck bed in front of the bumper underneath on a Ford F-150. Location of the rear filler neck. This is the front filler neck door and this is the rear filler neck door. So we're going to start back here and we're going to take the gas cap off so we can easily access those three mounting screws. Set that aside. Now I have a quarter inch, seven millimeter socket. Now that those three are out, we're gonna raise it up and dismount it underneath. Now with an eight millimeter or five sixteenths socket, we're gonna take these clamps off. This one in the front holds the actual filler neck to the bracket that's mounted on the bed of the truck. And loosen it up just enough so it slides right off. Let's get that. And now I'm going to take the clamp off that holds it to the rubber part. So normally I would use an 8mm or a 5 16 or flathead. So you can try that. Mine is so rotted. So I got a pair of locking pliers, needle nose, just to see if I can spin the head enough. Get it to start coming off, and it's working. There we go. Now with a little hook, like a pick, I'm gonna try to break the rubber hose off of the metal all the way around so that I can get a good motion on this. I'm gonna just pry with a screwdriver, see if I can get some penetrating spray in there. And let's that way we can see if we can get this to work a little bit easier. There we go. Now I supported the gas tank or fuel tank and I'm going to take the rotted bolts off holding these straps on. I could say what size they are but it looks like aftermarket bolts have been used a hundred times but I'm going to be using a 13 millimeter wrench or half inch wrench and a 15 millimeter socket with my air gun trying to get these to break free. There's four nuts and bolts all together. So now we have the fuel pump connector, which is located right here, this gray connector. And I'm just going to push down on the tab and see if I can pull it out. There it is. Okay. I'm going to lower the tank so I can access these fuel lines and vent line. So I'm going to take the hydraulic pressure off and lower this down a little bit. As I guide the hydraulic down, I'm going to just use a pry bar, make sure I can separate this from the frame area. There we go. It's a little bit at a time. There we go. 
All right, now we have access to those lines. Here we have our two fuel lines. They have these safety clips on them. I just take a pocket screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver, pop this up like that. You can leave it on the line if you want or take it off. Undo both of them. And now with our fuel line tool, they look like this because they're going to go up inside and unlock the little locking fingers that go in there. I'm going to get a pair of pliers to twist that line. There we go. There's one. this vent hose and cut this little wire tie off. Set that aside. Then I'm going to disconnect that hose from that rusted tube. All right. Now I'm going to lower the jack and just hold on to the tank, guide it down. Just bring it all the way down. Still has fuel in it, so we have to be careful with that. All right, before we clean this area up to make sure no dirt gets in that tank, because we're going to reuse the gas, we're going to take the, I'm just going to plug that hole up a little bit, and I'm going to take my air. Oh, get that out of there. Not like we're going to prevent any, we're going to get some in there because that ring is pretty rusted. So I like to use a brass punch and a hammer. And I'm going to look at the direction that this goes in. So clockwise is locking, so I need to go counterclockwise to unlock it. Stand up, fold up. in pretty bad shape. All right, good news is I can get some more of that rust out of there. Right, slip the fuel pump up. Let's get a bucket, let that drain a little bit, and we can move on. Now I got my basin pan here. I'm gonna lift this pump up, take it out of the tank, get past that pickup screen. And bring it right over here and let it 
do its thing in there. So before we put our new pump in, we've got a new seal. I'll line that up, make sure it sits perfectly, not overlapping. Now we know that it sits in this direction. I'm gonna guide my fuel level sensor in. Get that sock filter pickup screen. So now we can slide over the new retainer ring. Line it up the best we can. And sometimes I use a screwdriver just to push that rubber gasket back into its little seat. Try to get tapped down a little bit on all the corners here. I'll use my brass punch, keeping an eye on all sections to make sure it doesn't compromise. Just going back and forth. So we got to get it over that last little lock tab. One more little love tab. There it is. We have to get this fill neck hose up over that frame. So the tank is empty. It's pretty light. So I'm going to see if I can Check this up. Got that filling it coming right through right there. I'm gonna jack it up. There we go. Now I'm gonna tilt it forward so that I can drop it again a little bit and get to the fuel pump lines. So now I'm gonna take the vent hose, bring that right back over this top frame bar. I'm going to take my caps off, place those aside. Now I got my two fuel lines here. The smaller one is on the bottom, the larger is right here on the top, so that's the blue one. So now I'm going to put the smaller of the two hoses on. I'm going to hear it click. There it is. And then the larger one. Hear that click. Now I'm going to put the lock clips on, the safety locks. Larger side goes on the fuel side, the smaller one goes on the tank. Now we'll get the small one up. There we go. Put the fuel pump harness up over the top. Put this line over there. All right. Now we are ready to put the tank up. All right, now that we have the gas lines hooked up, we have the connector come through. I'm just gonna hook that vent line. Just gonna spray some parts cleaner. Just gives it enough, and it doesn't have that petroleum base that eventually could break it down. There you go. Now we'll take a plastic tie, and I'm gonna tie all these back together. I wanna make a good note here. This fuel pump actually comes with the other end, the harness end, the female connector. So if this is damaged or your wires are shaved, we have the connector comes with it. So if you don't need to, you don't have to splice it in, but if you need to, we actually Send it with the pump. Let it click in, there we go. Now I'm gonna put my bolts through. Putting the two longer bolts in the front. Dropping them through. 
And then I'm going to put two shorter ones in the back so I can put the strapping up. Just start the nut. There we go. I'll move it to the front. I'm going to put a washer on these and then put the nut on. I'm going to repeat the same on the other side for the other gas strap. Okay, you want to make sure that these gas tank straps are in the channel, lined up with the ribs of the gas tank. So my bolts are a 12 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter wrench, but you can see what size you get. I'm not going to squish the tank. I don't want to crush it. I'm going to snug all four up and then adjust as I go. Let the jack down. So now I'm just going to put the two clamps on prior to putting that up in, a little bit easier. And then we'll just guide the filler neck hose into the gas tank hose. the filling neck up into the gas tank lid. I'm not going to tighten these clamps, not until I get the actual piece bolted up on the top, but I will guide them just like that. And I'm just going to grab my filler neck, line up my bottom hole with that, just put the screw in, start it by hand. Just gonna snug it up. Line up the other two holes. goes on. All right, now we can redo our clamps on the filler neck. Now with my eight millimeter socket or 5 sixteenths, I'm going to snug up the bracket clamp. <laughs> that actually helped because it straightened the pipe out in the hose and the same socket, tighten up the hose. <laughs> When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.